Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. Today I want to show you what I think is one of the most exciting labs that I've ever put together. This is an extension of my Kali Purple Lab and this is going to be great for those people who want to learn Active Directory, Active Directory attacks and even detection because I have it all in here. We also have the firewall here that we can deploy an intrusion detection system on the network side of things. So this is by far one of the most interesting and exciting labs and you're going to see a lot of videos on this channel. So what does this lab look like? Well, first it contains a firewall. I'm using OpenSense here in my lab environment and I can show you how I put it all together. We also have an intrusion detection system. And in this case, I'm using the Elastic Sim. As you can see, all my agents are registered in Fleet, which is really good. And we can also get some alerts here. As you can see, I'm looking in the last 30 minutes here, we're getting some generic alerts. But if I look in the last 24 hours, I should actually see when I was trying, I was playing with some malware in here and things got caught. All right, so as you can see, I have a malware prevention alert. I was just playing with a PE loader earlier and it was terrible. It was getting caught by Defender. It was getting caught by this. So what is this lab and why does it look in so interesting? Well, if you have not heard of it, this is called the Game of Active Directory project and it's by, and it's by Mayfly. Uh, that's what this uh, creator goes by. All the credit goes to them. I'm just putting it all together in a way that is exciting for me so that we can all learn. And the goal here is to go through the Active Directory exploitation in our own secure environment without worrying about, you know, cost and all that uh, exposure that comes with buying labs and things like that. In this case, we actually have a multi-domain environment. We have sevenkingdom.local here, we have north seven kingdom here, and also we have ESOS down here. And all this, this domain is vulnerable so that we can practice all kinds of attacks, including things like DC sync, you know, cre credential harvesting in here. We, maybe we can do some spraying. We can do a lot of things in Active Directory. And I'm planning on creating an entire series attacking these domains until we own the entire domain. But during that process, we are not just going to be CTF people. We are going to be looking at this traffic. Every time we attack, what did we do? Why, how much traffic did we generate? And that traffic should end up here in our intrusion detection system. I'm actually going to add Sysmon here. We're going to enrich our data as we go. If we don't see any visibility of maybe what should have happened when you ran it too, we can come in here and modify our lab environment so that we can gain visibility. So this is one of the probably the best ways for people to get their hands dirty in cybersecurity so that when you are detecting things, you have set it up and you know what it looks like. In this case, my firewall here is by far the center of this whole thing. Uh, so this domain is set up using the instructions from the Git repo. If you go to this Git repo, you see that there's different installation methods that you can do. I'm using VMware, so I chose VMware. If you're going to be using VirtualBox, just choose VirtualBox. But when I went with VMware, I was kind of sad to see that they only support VMware Workstation. Well, I'm an ESXi kind of person, so I run VMware ESXi because I find that one to be more robust. But hey, Workstation and VirtualBox, still good. So what did I do? I went ahead and ran it in Workstation anyway. So what that looks like is I now have a virtual machine here where I installed VMware Workstation. I gave it 440 gigs on the hard drive. I gave it, what, I think 40 gigs of RAM and I gave it a ton of CPU and I was like, okay, we're going to install Ubuntu on this machine. So let me show you what that looks like. So this is an Ubuntu machine that I installed. So if you're going to be installing it in VMware Workstation or in VirtualBox, you first need an Ubuntu machine. So what I would do is I'll probably get an old desktop or a server, install Ubuntu if that's what you probably want, or maybe install it as a virtual machine that supports nested, nested, nested virtualization. Then after that, I installed VMware Workstation. So inside of Ubuntu, I have Workstation. I could have done this on Windows, but the creators specifically said they support Workstation. So I was, I was like, okay, fine. I ran the scripts following the instructions and as you can see in my workstation here, everything succeeded. There was no issues really. What I ended up doing was just I had to run the scripts a couple of times. So if you're going to be doing this, 
I also encourage you to supplement the normal installation process with this second Git repo here from Quincy. And Quincy actually has videos on YouTube. So if you search God install on YouTube, you see um, part one, part two, and part three, and up to part five. These are very short, straightforward, easy to understand. He is actually using VirtualBox on Ubuntu. So the instructions are pretty good. If you want me to go through the entire process of setting this up, please let me know in the comments and like this video. I'm not going to spend so much time making these videos if people are not interested in them. But if you're interested, please make sure to like so that I can show the creation from the beginning to the end. I'll find an old desktop and do the setup videos, probably 10 videos or so. But you have to tell me in the comments. You have to comment and let me know. Otherwise, once I did the installation in here, all I did was I connected to my vCenter, ESXi, and exported all these virtual machines to my vCenter. So once they were exported to vCenter, this is what they look like. And they're all running inside of my ESXi vCenter environment. Kind of nice. And right now it looks like I'm running out of space in here, but that's fine. And then after I exported it to vCenter, well, I needed some a way to for this thing to actually communicate right in a proper way. Well, I have an OpenSense firewall. So I have an OpenSense firewall virtual machine here. I powered it off, but this one will also work as a virtual machine. I actually have a physical OpenSense firewall in that server rack in the back there. Because I want to do some IDS. I want that firewall to run some services, next-gen firewall, so that this lab can really look like a real enterprise. I want to even put a proxy server on it. So we do have an OpenSense firewall. A few things that I had to make changes to is I went in every single virtual machine and gave them a default gateway. That means that 192.168.56.1 is now pointing on all these machines to go to my firewall because I want to do firewall stuff. It's not necessary, but I wanted it to be fully collected. So I added a default gateway. That's all I did on these machines. Then next, I already have Kali Purple Sim running. And this sim, you have seen it on my channel several times. Why not add these agents to all those machines? So I went ahead and registered all those virtual machines to come in and report here. Right now, they have a generic profile. I'm collecting Windows logs. I'm seeing things like, you know, intrusions and stuff like that. So if I try to run malware on any of those machines, Elastic Sim will actually stop. It's in... IPS mode is actually going to be preventing the attacks. So when we attack, we need to find payloads that will bypass either Windows Defender or our, in this case, Elastic Sim. So that will make it even more, more exciting for all of us. Now, how did I add my agents? I have some nodes here. I like to use Obsidian. Maybe this is another video as well where we can talk about documentation. But I was like, okay, how do I want to do this? For, First, I listed my IP addresses. I'm using XRDP to access all these machines because they have RDP enabled. Then I installed my Elastic Agent. I could have scripted this, but I already had these commands ready to go. Simple, gave it that, and I did that five times, and they're all reporting. So what does that leave us? That leaves us with a lab that looks like this. That is visibility going to Elastic Sim, that looks like this. And also, that lab is ready for us to attack. So I went ahead and I was like, okay, is this actually working? So let's go to our attacker machine, my Kali attacker. So this Kali attacker machine, if you look at it, 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 it is networking. It's actually connected to the OpenSense firewall. Actually, I connected it directly to the same subnet as the God network. So this is assumed breach at this point. And with that, I can do things like monitor traffic here. I can see who the top talkers are. I can also go and add a few more services that I want later here, including intrusion detection. This lab is now ready for us to attack. I, come, I came down here and I was like, okay, let's run a simple nmap. Uh, actually, this one is not nmap. This is crackmap exec. I said, hey, crackmap exec, can you run using SMB or against one of them? And it's dash dash users to see if I can find the users. This is one of the domain controllers. And as you can see, I'm already finding that there's a 
password for a user. So in the next videos, my goal is to go through this slab, attack it, and document every single step so that we can learn Active Directory attacks. We're also going to learn detection. So there'll be an attack video. Then I'll stop for those who want to attack. Then I'll make an analysis and detection video afterwards. So there'll be pairs of videos going forward. That way you, you don't have to watch the, the detection if you don't want to. But that's just something that we'll be doing going forward. So on this channel, expect a lot of very short, probably 10 minute videos going through the domain and 10 minutes just going through the analysis so that we can have a lot of fun. But please let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, and also just let me know if you want me to maybe, before I do the attack, start with building the entire thing with an old desktop or an old server that I found. Otherwise, thanks for being here and I hope to see you next time.